right, hello, welcome back. Holy butts. We are playing some Dead Cells. First video did great. Thank y'all so much for watching it. Uh, I am really looking forward to playing more of this. And yeah, we're doing, yeah, we're doing save slot two. Um, <laughs> the, the number of runs two is because I sort of like started wandering around a little bit towards the end of the last one. But yeah, like, um, well, we're going to see how this goes. Like, I've really been wanting to play this a lot since doing that first video. And oh, yeah, we're we're exactly where we left it with our little friend down here. Our... <laughs> so, yeah, like uh, Dead Cells, what do we got? We got, you know what? We didn't do anything with bows the last time. So I think what I'm going to do is we're gonna do a bow and a shield. So you can see the bows have ammo. So it's gonna like gradually replenish itself, but you can't just like spam the hell out of everything. Um, I think that Dead Cells is gonna work really well as a series where I don't necessarily talk as much as I do in Isaac. Um, because like there's so much we have to do in this game with, oh, I gotta turn the volume up on my TV. Uh, there's so much we have to do in this game in terms of like paying attention to the game, God, what a thought, um, that uh, I think I'm just gonna be mostly concentrating on explaining it and not dying. And you know what, like that's fine. We can have different different uh, videos for different things. Yes, I uh, love that you can parry guys there. So yeah, I think this is this is gonna be kind of cool as they like, you know, it's gonna start out as a like dead cells, let's learn how this game works thing. And hopefully like, you know, once we get some unlocks done, then uh, it'll be like, you know, y'all have been on the journey with me. And then we've kind of like, feel like we've gone through this together in terms of like uh, unlocking the stuff in this game. And I don't remember, this guy's a little star on his head. Ooh, it means he's got a scroll. So I think Last time we tried Brutality, let's try some tactics or survival stuff. We haven't found anything good, so we may have to respec later. Let's just like let our tactics be slightly better. Um, so, oh my god, okay, we got a blueprint for the ice shields. That means we definitely don't want to die um, <laughs> before we can get that turned in. Because if you die when you're holding a blueprint, then, well, guess what? You gotta get it again. Fuck you, buddy. <laughs> and yeah, like, oh, it's just the worst if you're like getting a blueprint that's like a little bit of a rare drop and you die. Because <laughs> it's like, well, you are out of luck. Remember last time we got the rune that lets us actually use these? So we can go to a completely different biome this time. Oh, I did bad. This is what happens when you spam your shit too much. Uh, you end up in a situation where <laughs> you've got no more ammunition. And that happens when you're like, okay, take this, you zombie. And then the zombie's like, nope. Cool. So we can go to the toxic sewers if we want this time. Let's clear the rest of this out. Uh, obviously, we're not going to get the clear the thing without getting hit bonus because I got totally hit. So interesting thing about this that I forgot to mention, you can either pay to get in or you can bust it down and it will give you a curse, which means you need to hit, you need to kill 10 enemies without getting hit. And if you do get hit, you insta die. The curse stuff is like really cool that it sort of gives you this, yeah, I could do it if I really wanted to, but uh, like, am, do I think I'm good enough to get through it? Okay, so we could get a better shield. Like we can get any of this stuff right now, um, which could be really cool. Uh, we could get the electric whip, which will likely be better than what we got going on right now. Although it's a little bit more of a short range thing. I'm such a sucker for shields. I say we buy the shield and um, we just like cudgel guys. Uh, so like this is like you will rarely see me hold stuff like this I like to do the actual parries because I think it's way better to try to parry guys than to like 
just like absorb some damage. So being that we've got a cool shield, we're going to put a point into survival. And for what it's worth, the cudgel not only stuns blocked enemies, and if you do a better parry, you stun them longer, but they will freeze nearby enemies when they die. So we're going to be looking for other things that will freeze stuff. We still can't use this. Uh, and hopefully we'll find something like uh, like an ice grenade. I don't know. Like, you never know what what's going to happen. You never know. Oh, hello. Uh, that looks like... Oh my god, right after I said it, dude. Fucking ice grenade. Hell yeah. Cool. Um, yes, 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 yes. So, more frozen stuff. And this is going to... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we take this thing because that's going to let us... Let's going to let us get healed and it makes us less likely to take damage so i think putting points into survival was the right thing being that we've got some survival stuff uh in the uh in our collection of items and whatnot yeah i completely forgot that your arrows get stuck in guys and you have to wait for them to refresh before you can like keep on attacking I was almost a little too late with that, but it's okay, because I wasn't. We still got that one guy behind us that we need to watch out for. Cool. Got the parry at the right time. The parry took care of all of that. I would love to get a slightly better bow. Um, okay, this is... I mean, pairing these guys would probably be a little bit better, but I'm not confident enough with my parries yet. All right, what we got? Give me something good. Okay, the infantry grenade, it's not really... I don't think this is better than what we have. It's like, it's got a cooldown of four, so you can spam the shit out of it. And I like that once you kill something with it, it, it explodes, but... Honestly, I think um, we're going to need the health. And because we unlocked our recycle, we hold that and bam, we get money for uh, just not doing anything with it. There's the promenade. Great. And let's see, was there anywhere else we can go? Do we explore everywhere in here? We totally did. So let's go to the toxic sewers. See what the other biomes look like here. I'm sure it's going to be super exciting. Oh, I haven't been here in so long. I never really go to this one as much as the Promenade of the Condemned. Mostly because I don't like that you can, like, fall in the sewer gunk. And then it, like, you know, it takes away your, your awesome kill streak. Not that we got the kill streak because I got hit that one time. So, boom, fuck you, nothing. Hey, it's the collector. We can turn in our our um, our ice shield. We can. Oh fuck! I forgot about the Spartan sandals. Oh, I want those so much. Hmm. <sighs> I think I continue to put points into the flask. As much as I want the sandals, it's not time. So we're doing tactics and survival stuff. Um. Hmm. I think being that we're going to be doing a lot of parrying, let's uh, let's go with counterattack because that means that doing ranged attacks are going to be kind of more like sniping. So, you know, we just like parry and then, you know, parry, shoot, extra damage, bleh. And since we've got two points in both of our both tactics and survival, then that could be great. Okay, Toxic Sewers, this shit really reminds me of, like, playing Diablo 2 back in the day. Oh my god, Diablo 2, what a game. As much as I played it, I've probably played this more than Diablo 2, so... Does this mean that Diablo 2 actually reminds me of... That that Diablo 2 reminds me of Dead Cells? Is, did, it, did it loop around to the other thing? Hey, we got a, we got a friend over here. Totally gonna do it, come on. Oh, 
Oh, you, oh, oh, your rune. Okay. Totally gonna find this guy his rune, right? Yeah. Great. Great, great, great. Like, I don't want to disappoint anyone that thinks I'm, like, a complete philanthropist, but, uh, I'm actually going to keep the rune myself. Like, sorry, y'all. Okay. Oh, oh, right, right, right. We've got these pipes in the background. It's kind of hard to see all the stuff. Oh, I almost fucked that up completely. So remember, we gotta try to get through 60 enemies without... Oh, these friggin' scorpions! Ah! All right. <laughs> okay, great. Cool. Don't fall in the ooze. Don't fall in the ooze is key. I had completely forgotten about the scorpions. Okay, so our next attack, extra good, right? Okay. Ground pound right on top of them. Oh, yeah. All right. Is it just you down there? I think it's just you down there. When you're fighting with the bows and arrows, you got to be a lot more... Oh, oh right. Yeah, I uh, I can't do that. Woo! Uh, that one blue guy in there is going to... Oh, I can't come out. Um, the blue guy is going to explode into a bunch of bombs when we kill it, so we just got to... Gotta enjoy that. You can parry these. In fact, sometimes it's the only thing that you really can do to avoid being hit. Okay, okay, okay. Awesome. Oh, yeah, we'll leave the carrot there in the likely event that we get hurt. Um, I think picking the the ability that synergized with the parry was absolutely the move here. Oh, that's got a really nice long range on it. I would love, like, um, there's one uh, bow in this game that actually gives you um, more power the further are, you are away from something. Okay, we got our first 30. We just need to get another 30, and then we can actually get through the door at the end of the level. Okay, so we want the ice grenade up here. There's a ton of guys to deal with. Great. Okay, oh, all right. Uh, we want that to make survival better. Immediately bust. Oh, no, no, I failed at the fucking... Uh, I ran into the, the, the goop. Damn it. The thing that I literally said at the, at the beginning of the level, running into the goop, it's so easy to do. Uh, at least um, in Promenade, it's just like the spikes are so much more obvious. But in this one, you know, wah, wah. We totally would have had that, that 60, like no problem. Oh, well. Oh, well, next time, you know. Um, also, if y'all can see, when you perch on the edge here, it kind of, like, it it cheats your aim a little bit down so that you can still, you can still hit stuff even though you're not directly facing it. Those little fuckers, you need to kill them immediately. Like, oh my god, like, do not, do not let them live. They will, oh god, oh fuck, oh shit. Okay, so that was our first use of our health flask thing. Not the uh, the health flask ability. You know, we got our little, we got our bonus health with it. <laughs> I wish I had the grenade. Yeah, so you don't get like everything all at once, but you know, it's still pretty good. I am not going to show y'all what happens if you fail to get one of those little green dudes. Like, they just, it's just a big old explosion. It sucks. Like, you don't want it. Oh, man. Okay, so we got a champion in here, or an elite, excuse me. Ah! So, oh god, it's one of the ones that comes with its own, like, bar of death here. It's 
It's okay. We stay away. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <gasps> oh, that was super bad. Okay. Hey, it's our first amulet. Great. Replaces my prisoner's collar, which didn't do anything. So basically, we just have slightly less damage. Uh, received in general, projectiles are way less bad, and dodging plants a bomb. Boom. Friendly bomb, extra damage, two stuff. Great. Oh, can't get in here. Yet. Yet. I do like the planting the bomb thing. I think that's fun. Hey. Well, what? A tunnel? Oh my gosh. Hmm. What could have happened in here? Oh my goodness. <gasps> a canvas bag. That's a big old radish. That's great. I needed that. Uh oh. Oh, the children. Oh no, the children. Okay, yeah, I, I, I hit the wrong button. I'm so sorry. We get we got more story there for a moment. All right, but that radish, that hit the spot. And you know what hit the spot is getting something. Uh, the balanced blade. Mm. It is a lot more damage. It doesn't really synergize with anything else, but I think it's just going to be better than what we have. So I'm going to take it. And yeah, like if I had anything better with my bow, I would continue along with that. But I don't. Okay, another elite up there. We got a full charge on all of our stuff. Ooh, that would be real good uh, to get the wolf trap. I think we do it. I'll take the bonus all from that. I'll take the wolf trap. Um, yeah, then that'll that'll root these guys up here immediately after I um what's what's happening here? <laughs> oh, I have to I have to. I have to kill the things on the sides before I can damage the worm. Ah! Oh, they come back. Oh my god. This worm is not messing around. Okay. Alright. Um, Sapphire Amulet. It's a brutality scroll. and You know what? I think that's fine. And then we'll just recycle this old one and yes oh hello uh there is oh i can't get up there because we don't have the wall jump yet so where else do we go yeah we don't care about this and in fact we'll recycle it for the 70 gold pieces yeah i think the sword is definitely doing a little better for us than the bow was. All right, can't go down there yet, but you know, we'll find the guy's rune. And you know, I'm sure it's going to make everything amazing. Oof, man, ugh. Okay, let's see what's up here. Mm, the sinew slicer is better than my wolf trap. I don't think so. What the heck butts is that? What? 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 Whip sword, sword form, 4L. This is something that I'm not familiar with. Um, it's like, am I just, do I just uh, get rid of all my eye makeup here? Okay, so can be transformed in between two attacks to deal critical damage for the next 1.5 seconds. You can deal critical damage for a longer window of time. It's colorless, does extra damage to slowdowns, poisons. Well, that's great because we can, and victims burn when they, do oh, this takes up both of my slots. Mm. Well, wow, that's fucking cool. Oh, it turns into a whip. That's real neat. Okay, well, I mean, Obviously, we have to keep this. Like, it's worthwhile 
like I'm sorry like old stuff but um yeah we recycle you we recycle you uh wow that's fucking cool as heck um I guess we'll go with brutality just because it gets us a little bit more okay no one's in there it's fine this does mean that we don't get to do anything with parrying for the time being uh, I don't I don't think anything here is going to be as good as this cool sword yeah definitely going to take the thing that thrashes around with those uh, little explodey boys because they can do so much damage oh my god And we just, oh, oh, it gets, like, you can actually use the, the transformation as, as a move. That's cool as hell. Wait, let's look back on this again. Okay, so, transforms the whip sword. Okay, so, oh, I get this. Wow. So, there's actually different stats for both the transformation thing and the regular sword. So you want to be switching between them like as much as possible. Is, is that what I'm seeing here? Because I think that's what I'm seeing here. This is a real fucking cool weapon. Just like, just saying. Oh, ow. I, oh, I, mm, mm. Oh my god, this is cool. Hell yeah. Uh, let's see. Ice grenade, that's definitely better than that one because it bleeds guys that are coming back. Uh, wolf trap is... I mean, it's better. I think like we take this over our old ice grenade. And I think save our money for other stuff. I am so lost. Like, this area is so much bigger than... Um, than the intro level, but you know, we got a lot of teleporters, so we'll oh, we'll be able to make our way back when we need to. Dang, this weapon is freaking good. Mm. It's definitely some of the weirdness of like the procedurally procedurally generated stuff is the um, like sometimes you'll just see these like little nooks and alcoves or whatever that don't seem like they make very much sense uh, are those rats gonna actually die there or I guess okay we can go to the ramparts up here we're still looking for that guy's rune though like we definitely want to find the rune because that's just gonna give us options for movement and or unlocking different areas. And I think that would be very cool. Okay, hey, there's uh, there's our buddy again. Yeah, hello, hi. <gasps> his rune, his rune, his, his definite rune. Oh yeah, this will be fine, right? Like we can just jump down there. That's just a big skull. I mean, of course we gotta go for it. It's like, what's the worst thing that could happen? Oh, fuck! It's an elite one of these fuckers. Oh, look at that. No problem. Alright, what do we get? Teleportation rune. We can use these monoliths. What are you rubbing at, anyway? Hey! 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 Rude. Cool. Oh, okay. Nice. Um. Buh? Well, I mean, you know, like, uh. I guess being that, um, we have his rune, then we may as well put, uh, put some good use to it. So this also means that we'll be able to go to some other areas of the game that were inaccessible yeah um i'm sticking with this like amazing whip sword thing like i am 
likely not going to get any other items if I can help it. Um, can we get over there? Let's find out. And I'll also, I think I took some damage, so getting that carrot is going to be really nice, too. <laughs> but I think I took some damage. I'm like, I took some damage. Boo-hoo-hoo, I'm a little Dead Cells baby that's not immediately good at Dead Cells. Okay, um, where? So we go down a little bit. Okay, all right. And, wait, what? Okay, so there's, there's nothing else. I don't know how to get over to wherever that is. And, oh, there's, okay, there's a little bit more over there. So we'll, we'll, we'll clear it out. I, I gotta remember, like, you don't wanna, <laughs> You don't want to butt pound like literally everywhere in this area because uh, yeah, you'll go into the goop <laughs> and as, as we have learned going into the goop costs you look at like 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 the thing that I literally just said I'm like no, I don't want to go into the goop uh, let, let me continue to ground pound uh, next to everything and Oh well, we weren't gonna get the kill streak on this one Anyways, oh, hey, well, glad I went here. We got a blueprint for another mutation. I don't remember what it does, but I'm sure our friend Ghoulain will uh, be happy to tell us. And yeah, I think, I think that's it. So I guess we just head on to the ramparts. Okay, where's the, where's the teleporter? Right? Nothing else we can do? Yeah, because I can't can't wall jump. Can't go to any of those. I have no idea where that is. Um, yeah. Ramparts it is. Oh, cool. There's the closer one. We got this, y'all. Like, no problem. It'll be nice to see the familiar face of the ramparts. After all, uh, we just finished doing this, like, area that was, like, not new. Well, I guess new to YouTube. Woo. Okay, hopefully, 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 hopefully. Hopefully the ramparts will allow us to actually get the uh, bonus for killing a lot of things. Which again, 60. Yeah, uh, we're, we're not going to make any of the time gated stuff for sure. All right, take that stuff and give us a better health flask. Nice. Um... 44 things left. Okay, so what does this do? Oh, you recover HP after parrying attacks. That's great. I'm winning points into this. I'm like, I just, I like Spartan Sandals way too much to not put points into it. So we seem to have, uh, ooh, okay. I think we gotta do Instinct of the Master of Arms here because we're gonna be hopefully doing crits with uh, this cool, weird whip sword thing. And um, if we can keep critting with it, then we can not only do a lot of damage, but we can recharge our stuff faster. So that's real nice. Oh, the malaise, right? That's the, the canon reason why the, the king of the island is killing everyone and why everyone else is sick or whatever. Can you tell I never really paid that much attention to the storyline in this game? I'm like, but still, I think it's cool mostly because I'm like, oh yeah, it's just some like, you know, it's like in, in Pulp Fiction, it's like, it's just some cold blooded shit to say to a motherfucker, you know? Um, although like really should anyone in, in 2024 be quoting Pulp Fiction anymore? <laughs> because there is so much stuff in that movie that, uh, like did not age gracefully let's you know can we say that oh bruh <laughs> Wah. oh and i had my my cell boost that oof oh my god i'm just gonna sit here and take it apparently okay um i think we just go with I think it gives us more hp 
the cool thing is, um, anytime you can get, like, the oil attack stuff on, um, the water surfaces, you can actually light the water on fire. And I think, like, you can see that we've got that kind of purplish fire coming off of this. So that means if we can succeed in, in killing things in the water, then that, fi that, that, that fire is just going to spread. It's going to kill stuff really nicely. Wolf trap four is it better than our wolf trap three? Oh, biters crawl from the dead you get the like the the fun little like like oh, like little wormy things i like that i always like seeing the biters i think the biters are fun little guys so okay when you're the sword when it goes into the whip it gives you that little transformation then when you go back to the sword it just kind of like just kind of brandish it Carrot. Uh, let's take that now. <laughs> this item is so cool. I think that those those little red guys that fly are going to be the biggest threat to our uh, no hit our no hit streak on this level. I'm just like I'm keep taking the survival scrolls and I'm not sure if I have a good reason for it at this point other than it's what I've already been doing. And I mean, I guess it's because our weapons, um, our abilities are like survival based. So what the, oh, because he's got the, the shield that was, that was getting in the way of, of stuff. I think it's really classy that this game gives you the teleporter to get right back to where you were. Uh, like, even if it's just, like, you just went down a little, but you know what? Like, nobody's got time. Nobody's got time for that. Uh, where are we going? Well, it was really nice having that kill streak. But, you know, it just means that everything is going to be real low stress uh, <laughs> for the rest of this level. Because I'm not going to have to worry about it. I guess there is a chance that we can, like, get through everything, but... Uh, Mm. Okay, this one, like, I know I just finished talking about this other one, but I'm like, well, I do want stuff to burn. So burning is cool, right? This, well, actually, does anything care? That's like, I, I guess it's like everything is like, guys burn and they die, guys burn and they die. I'm not going to spend money on another grenade, I think. Because I think we're already pretty good. Uh, we can't get up there yet because we still don't have the wall jump. We'll get there. It'll be fine. I mean, we've already gotten one rune uh, over the course of this playthrough. So I'd say we're doing pretty good. Um, hopefully that guy doesn't want it back. I really like this whole... This, this this sword like i i i have no idea what dlc it was added in cuz it's completely new to me but you know i'm not complaining it is cool as hell uh, oh tell me about this 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 hanging prisoner with the infection mhm mm mhm mm mhm once again well, I mean, blood, no, the blood sword, dude, the blood sword is not better than what we have. So I may have noticed that we haven't had a huge variety of stuff uh, available for pickup or use at the shops. And that's just like, we just haven't unlocked it. Like, as we continue to unlock things, we're going to have more stuff worth picking up. And, um more things that are going to be available for us to take. I guess I'll keep going with survival here. The sword seems like it's good for dealing with these little fuckers. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh my god, there's so much happening. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Oh, everything died. Like, what happened, guys? It's just like, I, I started the party and then I missed the rest of it. That's it. 
There's just go down there and kill a whole bunch of guys and oh oh right no we couldn't go over there because we didn't have the wall jump yet okay i kind of wish i could keep track better of which side of this weapon i had fuck this weapon is cool as hell mm. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna keep on specializing in survival, and mm -hmm, mm -hmm, nothing else there. I'm feeling better about our chances with the concierge here. Like, we still might not beat him. Okay, can't get down there yet. But you know what? I think we're gonna we're gonna put up a lot more of a fight. I I mean, like, come on, we got like a super lucky drop here. I guess that's it. I guess that's um, that's all we got. We're going to the Black Bridge. Okay, so you can bonk a little bit. Okay, good to know. Remember, this is a question we had the last time. Is that like you know, if you fall from a, a high up place, can you uh, can you get like stun locked a little bit? Yes, apparently so. Slow and steady wins the race. Uh, yeah, I think uh, is that the game having a little bit of fun with us? Cause I'm. You know, taking a while. Nah, can't possibly be. Um, okay. I'm gonna wait on fully unlocking that though, because I don't want it yet. And like, remember from last time, if you get the, um... oh, man, we definitely want a better weapon than that. Although, hmm. I think we just put a bunch of points into all of these and then just have them like one away. If not, screw it, whatever. We'll do the ice shield, um, we'll do the Spartan sandals and then we'll put a bunch of stuff into this one. Okay, so let's let's talk about these items for a second. Okay, so first off the ice shield, it's, it's exactly what it sounds like. Um, it's an ice shield. You parry something with it um, and uh, it'll freeze things. And then the Spartan Sandals. Oh my god, the Spartan Sandals. This ridiculous item. You kick guys, if you kick them into a wall, then they get hurt a lot. Or you can, like, knock them off ledges and kill them that way. It's fucking great. I love the Spartan Sandals. Um, the only time you'll see me not taking them is right now. Because we have an item that's, like, a real rare drop that's way better. So, like, you know, what are you going to do? Um, I think we take necromancy, just little general heals after killing guys. We don't want to forget, we've got an upgraded flask. We can heal twice against the concierge if we have to. So let's take a drink while the game loads and see if we got this. And if you can beat bosses in this game, they drop a whole butt ton of stuff. Like you'll get... <laughs> like their fucking teeth will pop out of their mouths. It's great. Um, but, you know, they usually will drop items too. Uh, all sorts of wonderful things. Okay, we slow them down. Take some hits with the sword. We switch. We crit. Hopefully we crit. I like how the, the range is longer in this too. Alright, we'll lock him down while he's still red ringing. Oh no, the red ring! Okay, I, I, I did bad with the red ring. I should be staying further away from him. Yeah, I think 100% we, um, we lock him down when he starts red ringing, so we don't have to worry about that, like, extra little bit of damage. Huh. Oh, right. I, um, <laughs> if I had a parry on deck, that would have parried the ever-living shit out of him. <laughs> okay, we would have, we would have gotten our shit totally fucking, totally ruined, um, if those wolf trap things hadn't been there. Woo! 
Okay. All right. See, no problem at all. No problem at all. Look at this. We got all kinds of stuff here. Um, oh, gold tooth. Do Is this better than what we've got? It's another number five. It's a, okay. Um, yeah, I think we like that because um, we, um, we like the... Uh, we like the biters crawling. Look, once you see them, you'll agree. Uh, multiple Nox bow is kind of cool. It would have been really good for uh, that first thing. It's just like a big old friggin' like shotgun blast of a bow here. It doesn't fire as fast as the one we had before, but you know, eh. We got this blueprint for something. I mean, like, I'm sorry, I'm gonna keep on with this weird weapon. Oh, what? wait, what's this? What's this artifact here? The challenger's room, the daily challenge. Okay, here comes a new challenger. Awesome. I think uh, the next levels here are very cool. Like both of them are cool. Uh, unless they added more, in which case I can't say both because you know what I mean. Stilt village, slumbering sanctuary, very neat. I don't know if we can get to the slumbering sanctuary just yet because we're still little baby newbies at this game. Hey, who's this guy? That's right, I made it this far. I'm awesome. It only took two tries. Okay, blacksmith. What are you going to do here? Great. Um, this is awesome. Uh, we definitely want to dump cells into this just to make everything better. So, yeah, fine. Great. Um, and I'm not going to be dumping cells into this guy, but, you know, we want to make sure that... He's got all our blueprints. I don't know if you actually have to go to him or if to survive, but I'm always like, you know what? It's worth it just to go. Uh, like, no worries. Um, yeah, this one's cool. It's basically like the concierge's weapon. It does like a flamey thing, like the thing we had to jump over a bunch of times. It's real slow. I don't really like it that much, but you know, it, it can also be fun to play around with. Um, yeah, can't go up there because we don't have the wall jump yet. I feel like I've used that phrase a whole lot of times. We can go up there. What's over? Okay, that's the still village. So what's up here? The fractured shrines. I don't know this area. Let's just do the stilt village because that's a little bit more vanilla dead cells. And we're going vanilla before we add a bunch of tasty dead cells toppings on there. So still village. Let's go. This is, like, such a pirate-looking place. I friggin' love it. Um, I mean, I think there's guys that, like, literally have, like, cannon hands or something that are dressed like pirates. Looks piratey. Yeah. Fresh fish. Catch them. Buy them. Wow, look at that. Blood in the water. That's gross. I don't know what that thing is. Ooh, Hattori's Katana. I have not seen that before. That's an item that's new to me. So we are going to try real hard to not die so I can... Oh, these guys that spawn all the ads. Right, and this guy that fires his fucking cannon bullshit. <gasps> bruh, 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 bruh. Okay, we got another guy thinking he's all queued up here dropping ads on me. But we can abs absolutely cannot afford to let those bat explody dudes come in and get us. Like, that is just, like, not acceptable. Mm, still nothing better than what we got. Okay, that thing up there will just teleport us back to the door, which is great, super convenient. Again, this game loves convenience. <gasps> Woo! <laughs> nice. Get some more scroll action and... Mm, guess we do maybe tactics. Oop! Yeah, I'm still, like, not into knowing what this crab thing with the katana is going to do. So, we're going to have plenty of time to figure out what all these enemies do in this game. It's like, we don't we don't need to see everything's attack pattern immediately. It's 
fine to just do some indiscriminate killing. I don't think I'm hitting this guy. Ugh. I'm glad that everything is lighting on fire. That's making it way easier to deal with. <gasps> okay, so it's got some like cute little dashing move. Love that. We're gonna have those guys like trying their best to uh, f me up when I am trying to deal with everything else. So the key rooms, we need those. The key, you need to get several keys to unlock a door at the end of the level in order to progress. Basically, uh, how do I get over there to make you guys stop spewing shit out? Okay, there we go. There we go. Yeah, because their little ads will keep will keep teleporting around and trying to chomp you, which, you know, it's not going to hurt you a whole lot, but it is going to... is going to make your kill streak null and void, which is also bogus. Oof! When did you, like, jump down there, bro? You think you're so cool? I don't think you're cool. I shouldn't have said that. Like, he's probably cool. Can you guys jump? Okay, so you can't jump down here, Katana guy. That's fine. <gasps> ah! Ah! He just beat me up so much! <laughs> okay. Hopefully we get something really good. We got a wolf trap. We got a mouse blade. Is this better than what I have? No, it's not. So we will recycle it. I cannot wait to unlock some more stuff. This is going to be really great. Go back to the entrance. Oh, nice. It even takes you back outside. Cool, 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 cool. It didn't used to do that. I love that for us. I wonder how much longer we have until my awesome sword starts showing its age and I'm like, oh, it's not any good anymore. We're just not keeping up with DPS with our enemies. Uh, yeah, we uh, we did everything good. There's, uh, you know, our key there. Ooh, the way that you can combo into the whip there is super satisfying. Okay, we got somebody with like these little blood gu Oh, right, right, right. They're in little um they're in little eggs above. Oh, we got an elite guy inside of a Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Shit, shit, shitting fuck. It's fine. It's fine. Huh. <sighs> Okay, uh, let's see here. Yeah, yeah. It's, um, I mean, it's like basically an extra scroll. Mm, frost Blast. Uh, frost Blast, it just does like a whoosh, kind of like, uh, almost like a Haruken kind of thing. It's not good by itself. And right now, since the only weapon I have is this thing that takes two slots, it's a uh, it's not really going to be useful. Oh, I need another village key. Oh, right, that's right. This is um Oh, it's like the ancient sewers or something. It's another sewer biome. Uh, that might be the one where you can unlock one of my favorite items in the game, which is um oh my god, struggling to remember what it's called here. It's, um, I don't know, it, like, throws a big globule of, like, fucking poison out and poisons everything. So, yeah, chef, we, we don't need any of this. We'll be fine. Like, like, this isn't, like, like, much of a little baby run. Like, we're awesome at this game. We're gonna get through it without his, like, ridiculously overpriced charges. Okay, so I'm not meant to be able to jump into there. Okay. Without the wall jump. Mmm. We are still going to be on the lookout for another village key, so if we want, we can go... Buh? Wait, what did, what did you say? Uh, 
I feel like this guy was trying to talk to me the whole time I was trying to kill him, and I'm not really sure what it was saying. Um, downward smashes burn the ground. You know what? I'm enjoying lighting literally everything on fire, so that's pretty good. Hmm. Oh, we got a little uh, Charlie here. Mm. Okay, uh, like, like, nice little uh, conspiracy theorist here. A rope acts as a link between this musty bed and the. Cl yeah, okay. Oh, okay. Can uh, can we get up there and interact with this in any way? Okay, so it looks like this is just for story. I mean, I guess we did get a new amulet, so that's pretty good. Yeah, I was ready for it this time. I was like, oh, yeah, I know a dude's going to drop out of there. Mm, yeah, just keep on with that. Yeah, it's another one of those, like, good moves to do where you can, like... So I don't know if you all saw me. Wait, is this, a, is this an enemy? It's not an enemy. Okay, great. Um... When I went through here, you can, like, immediately, um, like, combo out of it, sort of. Um, <gasps> like, the way that you can kind of interrupt your, um, if you can, like, immediately attack in midair after doing a roll move, it, it makes it really, like, a lot easier for you to start putting damage into stuff. That's what I was trying to say. There we go. We got there. We got there. Okay, uh, ugh. I gotta get this guy's patterns down a little bit more so we don't, um, just get whomped by his, uh, triple whomping attack. Although, at least we're getting, like, incremental, incremental health upgrades because of having, um, whatever that <laughs> mutation is called on the side. Um, yeah, y'all got me. Uh, do, do, do. oh, holy shit, we missed a, we missed a scroll. There was a scroll just hanging out back here, wanting to make the run more powerful, and we're just like, no, um, don't want that. Unacceptable. So yeah, if we ever get into a situation where <laughs> we pick up something else that's survival-based, well... Boy, howdy, you know we will be able to deal with that. Okay, so we use this to go up here. Um, I think you have to choose between where you want to use your keys. Like, do we want to go into the clock tower or do we want to go into the other place? We want to go into the clock tower. Clock tower is very cool. There's a boss at the end of it. Um, I think called the timekeeper uh, that probably going to die on. Um, and also, also, it's got, like, the coolest music in the whole soundtrack, so we can all look forward to that. Um, yeah, we will put more into, oh, we could get another, get another mutation. We could get the Hattorius Katana. Hold the Daster enemies in front of you, inflicting critical hits. Well, let's just put more into this. It'll be fine. Um, mm-hmm. Oh, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Great. Yeah, I'm not going to tell him. So, let's see. Oh, right. Yeah, you can uh, you can make the modifiers better. You can... Mm, sure. Let's make it slightly better. Um, normally, this isn't that worth it, but since we're on 0 BC, like we're just going to make the most of our crappy weapons that we have crappy okay this this i mean this one whip sword thing is like freaking god tier so i think it's i think it's wonderful it was the timekeeper is that what i said i don't remember oh no Okay, we are achieving big. Was 
there anything to get in here or was it just no okay it was just to go back down got it oh right these freaking guys they do all kinds of teleporting nonsense Ooh. oh did y'all see this there's like something hidden in the wall oh right also <laughs> Because I, um, for some reason, I think it's funnier to have, like, the vegetarian options. I mean, I'm almost all a vegetarian at this point. But you can, you know, have bread. You can have Castlevania wall meat. Just meat. Everything looking like eyeballs. Baguettes and cheese. They really play up their, um, <laughs> the French stuff. Which I think is real funny. Nice. That guy just, like, straight up just, like, killed himself. And I'm into it. Ooh, they're like worse versions of the, ugh, ugh. They're like worse versions of the guys from um, earlier in the game. <gasps> oh, uh, am I going to live through this level? It's an excellent question. But, you know, like, it's still cool fighting these guys. Oh, right, because everybody's got, like, their freaking teleport move shit. Okay, so we got a, we got this unlock over here, meaning we can, like, travel back there if we get up to the top of this. And, oh, shit, uh, if we get up to the... Okay, let me, let me, hold on. Let me explain what, why I did that before I go up there. So if you see a teleporter kind of off the side of the screen, you are going to want to step over it and activate it because if you go up somewhere, like we're gonna go up here and deal with these guys, and if we can't handle them, or if we get to the top, then we're gonna wanna make sure that we can teleport out and, and, and instead of having to go back through everything if we didn't actually kill all the, all the guys in the meantime. Cool, I'm glad that this guy just wanted <laughs> to hang around and be frozen because worked out great yeah so this means that we could like fast teleport down there if we wanted to if we like want to grab the carrot or something but let's see what else is up here this could be great oh fuck shit oh my god oh my god are we gonna die I hope we're not gonna die I'd like to like to see if I can finish this run Oh, oh shit, I, I went through, I went through this thing. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Um, I can't get back up there, right. It's fine, it's fine, I'm only taking lots of damage. I'm very good at this game, it's fine. <laughs> uh... <gasps> Oh, right, yeah, because they, uh, they throw shit out when they die. I think, okay, great, we get a scroll. Always nice. Can't go in there because we don't, we're not playing on one BC difficulty. In order to increase our BCs, in order to play on a higher difficulty, you need to beat the boss of the game on that difficulty level. Yeah, I killed the thing that time. So since we haven't actually beaten the last boss in the game yet, we can't do any difficulty levels other than the basic little baby 1 BC. Which, you know, is fine. <laughs> I'm sorry, not 1 BC, 0 BC. I feel like I'm missing all kinds of stuff up here. But, you know, hopefully there's something good. Okay, okay. Do we want to do this? It could be something amazing, but if it's like a weapon that tries to replace mine, we're not gonna we're not gonna do it. So this is a curse chest. If I push the the R button on here, it'll give me an item that's usually good, but it'll be it'll put a curse on me, and I will die if I take any damage after, uh, before hitting 
10 guys. Ooh, okay, we need to get the bell power key so we can go get that shield. That would be awesome. Or rather, the shield blueprint. Um, I guess we'll just keep on making our survival stuff better. Oh, right, there's the whole thing you gotta do with ringing the bells in the right way for something in this level. I, it's, it's been a while, I don't remember. <gasps> Oh, oh fuck, shit. Okay, we gotta use this. I, I will, I will get the, the. <laughs> okay, we might die. Which would be a shame because I'd like to, I'd like to uh, have the repeater crossbow be something uh, that I can, uh, that I can get the blueprints for. Mm, okay, so this teleporter, we teleport down to, I think there, get the carrot. Right, I still didn't explore the areas off to the sides of these places either. Where, where's that carrot? Right there. Right, I got. <laughs> I also have to be careful of all the spiked balls because, you know, we're going down here to gain HP, not to, uh, I want to lose HP. So, yeah, that would be just real tragic <laughs> if I uh, had a net loss after doing this part. I think I saw up top that, yes, um, that looks like an area to get stuff. Great. Um, the Sinew Slicer V. Um, let's give this a shot, okay? Um, what does it do? Ooh, okay. So this game does something which I think is kind of neat. Um, where it, if you have one of these um, abilities that puts a thing down on the ground, like the sinew slicer does, ugh, um, it has this like little like lightning tether thing. Hey, give me them cells, all right. It has this little lightning tether thing that connects you to it. And basically, like if you get a certain distance away from it, it stops working. So you can't just like throw a bunch of shit on the ground and then walk away from it and be like, it's fine. Like, I'll just kill everything from a huge distance. Like now nah, the game like doesn't let you cheese that. I can't remember. I I I want to hope that there's some kind of really cool blueprint that will unlock from <gasps> Okay, okay. I wanna hope that there's some really cool <laughs> precise <laughs> uh spike avoidance right there. I am I'm pleased with that. I think that did. I think I did okay. Um, wait, there's no reason for me to drop back through here. We're going up. Man, this is definitely getting harder. Uh, do not have the key. Still got to find some keys. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, we went as far as we could that way. We could still go to the left here. Okay, so this is going to be another one of those. We'll teleport up at the top, and then we'll basically be in a box of monsters and have to fight our way out. What is it called? A monster closet. Um, I think is what they call it in, like, Doom or something. Hell yes. Hell, give me that. Um, I don't want to deal with this elite guy. Okay, I'm going to deal with this elite guy. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. He's got one up. What the fuck is this? Oh, he knocked my thing off. What a jerk. Yeah, that definitely makes it so we take less damage. So I think uh, we will 100% keep that. What am I on? I'm on the whip right now. Uh, 
I want to say that uh, I feel positive about being able to finish this run, but I feel like if we don't get killed by this level, probably gonna die in the timekeeper. But, you know, like, again, we're still in like little, little baby learning run status, so I'm not gonna feel bad if, you know, I don't immediately win this punishing as fuck game. In fact, I think we probably would have, like, lost already had we not gotten the, uh, the Spartan Sandals. Seven. Okay, how much damage does this do? It does, right, right, because it does barely any damage. Like, it's hard to say no to this Whip Sword. Um, which is why I'm not going to say no to this Whip Sword. Because I just really, really, I just think it's so cool. We gotta stop taking damage because I don't have any way of healing at this point. Um. <gasps> oh geez, oh geez, oh my, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> there's too many guys, there's too many guys, there's too many guys, there's too many guys. Wait, I should drop through here. Let them come to me. Let my uh, long range stuff kill them. Oh, for what it's worth, anytime you see these like little glowing candle altar things and you see a pause on the time, uh, that means we're like we're in story area and there's nothing that can hurt us. Oh, more swords. Love a giant floaty sword. Oh wow, a sword. Mm-hmm. Sensation of floating and speeding up. Mm. <laughs> okay, um, that's uh nowhere close to anything that we've got right now. Right, 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 right. Alright, cool. Well we got to see some swords. Pretty neat. It's like a little spoiler for when we get up to the timekeeper and she's gonna like get us real bad with her swords. Uh, nah, I think we, we keep what we got. <gasps> okay, clockmaker's key, great. That is don't remember where we needed to go with that one. Maybe there. I feel like there's one other place that we needed to unlock with some sort of key. Mm. But I guess other than that, that's like pretty much the level. So let's go here. I don't remember which one is which one though. Oh, great. All right, well, here we go. This boss, uh, traditionally I'm bad at, you, you know, like two and a half years ago. <sighs> nope, definitely did not qualify for that. Well, 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 look who's here, it's me. Cool, we got that, we got our we got the repeater crossbow in there. Um, I think being that we are likely going to die. <laughs> we just put points into this. It'll be great. Um, sure. Let's upgrade this to something really good. Oh, that's Fred's inflammable oil. That's, that's really cool. So that's going to... What is this? It's amazing how much that they can carry on their on their backs. 
little, little, little fourth wall breaking right here. We love, we love that. Bless your heart, dead cells. Okay, okay, we got this, y'all. We got this. It's gonna be awesome. <sighs> I'm just like focusing my chi, man. It is high drama. Oh, jeez. Oh, shit. Okay, we're not doing this hitless, that's for sure. Huh. Um, okay, I think we go ahead and heal now. And immediately take some damage. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I say. Okay, great, 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 great. Easy, phase two, easy phase two. Oh, oh no, we're not even on phase two. We're not even, oh my God, there's big swords. Remember from the room? <gasps> uh, mm -hmm. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Ugh. <gasps> Honestly, I think we just got saved from having a random OP weapon. Oh, cool. Okay, so do we want this other wolf trap? Uh, nah. And I don't think we want the nutcracker. It's still not better than random OP weapon. We do want the light speed blueprint and hell yeah we beat another boss nice oh just next level <laughs> okay game high peak castle and derelict distillery i think the derelict distillery is another thing that was added after i played it a bunch so i don't know about that i've heard that like everything explodes and then high peak castle of course is the like last level of the game so, you know, maybe we'll get, uh, maybe we'll, we'll, um, oh, I should have used that to unlock the thing that preserves my gold when I die, because I just need one more thing. Wah. Wait, should I, have been, should I, should I be inspecting this? I love breaking doors, though. It's the best. Okay, we'll refill our health potion. We'll go into High Peak Castle, and if we can get through this, then we can go to the end boss and hopefully uh, win. Yeah. <sighs> I can't believe we beat the timekeeper. I don't think that was not skill on my part. I think that was just because the, the weapon we have is real good. All right, I'm gonna leave my shoes on. So we should... Yeah, it's just like the, um, you get your achievement for coming into a place and it just gives you some like little irreverent whatever, whatever. Oh, right. Oh, God. Look at these guys. Look at the size of the fucking sword, dude. I, um, I'm not a fan of this, uh, whirlwind attack I saw going on over there. Also, whoever was doing that, like, little... Um, stab attack from above me, that also seems, uh, bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wait, I, oh, I, I literally just came from here. Oh my gosh. We got this. We got this, y'all. Okay. So I think these allow you to sort of travel throughout the castle, and then I think that they also have guys that are like harder to kill inside them. Huh! Yeah, I'm not trying to mess with that at all. 
Okay, yeah. Oh, we got an elite whatever that guy is. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, it took so much help. 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 Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Don't fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. No! <laughs> wow. Okay, well. Elite slasher. No one to fuck with. Wow, man. Okay. Well, still, that was a very cool run. We got we got a rune. We got that dude's rune. Whoever that guy was. His rune. I'm sure I'm sure we haven't heard the last of him. We killed the timekeeper. We got that really cool like transforming whip sword thing. And hey, we got a bag full of gold for next time. But here's the question, where is our uh where's our cool friend that used to be here? Okay, she's right there. Hey, look at this. It's a uh, this this room will keep expanding the more stuff we unlock. So as y'all can see, uh, <laughs> I've got my work cut out for me trying to uh, get everything in this game. So yeah, of course I'm working on it. I'm awesome. Chipping away at it, yes. feel like uh, my accomplishments are being marginalized here. Um, yeah, I'll pay a gold to have a look. Look at that. Look at that. Look at all the stuff we have. All the stuff. Whatever, we got Spartan sandals. We're gonna be using those, hopefully in the next run if we can find them. So, I'm in fact not going to be on my way. I'm gonna call it on this. Oh my God, y'all, this was awesome. Again, this has been Dead Cells. I hope you've enjoyed our journey through this new save file. Let's pick it up again next week, but until then, thanks for hanging out and let's do this next time.